Like you can get the latest camera that f 0.8 t 2.0 lens you can go all out those aperture lights the best equipment in the game and still don't achieve that cinematic effect Hello guys and welcome back to the channel, Siobhan Beckford here. In this video, I'm going to be walking through some tips, tricks, hacks, cheats, whatever you call them, that you can use to make your videos look more cinematic without breaking the bank to get the latest Sony camera, the latest Canon camera, the latest Lumix camera, that expensive lens, stopping down all the way to f1.4, buying all those expensive light, that DJI drone that costs four thousand dollars. I'm gonna walk through some simple tips, simple tricks that you can use to enhance your filmmaking game and make your videos look more cinematic without going above and beyond. Just some simple stuff. Let's go. So a, a lot of us have that perception that cinematic means your videos have to be 4K. They have to be shot on that lens that can go down to f1.8 or f1.4 and shooting at 60, 120 frames per second. So you can slow down in post and get that dreamy look. Don't get me wrong, that looks good on screen and your videos will look amazing if you pull that off properly. But that's not the only aspect of creating cinematic content you have to take into consideration the sound that you're going to use around your film you have to take into consideration the storyline how you set up your film the lens you use focal lens angles how you light your scene if you're going to light your scene how you manipulate natural light and where you slow down in post and why you slow down that specific scene in post why you gave that scene a shallow depth of feel while that scene could have worked better with a high aperture well let me not say high aperture with a high numbered aperture in which you could have stuff in the background in focus to tell a better story than shooting everything in f1.8 also color grading now this in 2021 to 2022 color grading was a big thing it was all over the internet like everyone was using this teal and orange look i'm not gonna lie teal and orange looks great but you can explore more color options you can try other color techniques you can mess around with color grading yourself learn how it works get some lots from other creatives buy some lots online i for one purchase a lot of lots because i'm too lazy to color grade my videos myself colors tell a lot of story whenever you're making a film and it can make your film and it can break your film because you can have a wonderful film but because it was colored tackily if that's even a word it doesn't give the look or vibe you wanted to pull off you wanted to give a hot summer tropical vibe but your video had this cool blue tint and temperature over it and it wasn't giving that summer tropical vibe you were going for so color is very important when shooting videos another thing i want to address is the equipment choice you don't need that sony a7 r5 or that canon eos r5 you don't need the best of the best you just need a camera that can capture footage you can literally use this you can use your phone to make cinematic videos and i'm not just saying that watch this i captured this video on my phone watch this Yeah, that video was captured on a phone and it doesn't look terrible, does it? And you don't need drone shots in your videos to make them look more cinematic, but you can always implement a nice, smooth drone shot, drone flying in over the water. You know, I'm from Jamaica, I love water shots. I have beaches, I'm gonna shoot the beaches. But anyways, 
it's the little things that count. Ensure that you're telling a story within your film. Ensure you're capturing your scenes properly, your composition, your angles. Be deliberate about what it is that you're doing. Jo don't just shoot and edit and hope it looks good. Fine, you can get get away with that when you're just starting out as a filmmaker but as you grow you need to be more deliberate about what it is that you're doing plan ahead go and vet the scene and everything can be cinematic literally everything if you're cooking capture some content if the rain is falling out the window and it looks good capture the rain falling out the window you might never know it might just be the video that blows up on the internet that people like compared to the one you spent hours and days editing creating cinematic sequence isn't as hard as it sounds or seem or how some people try to portray it online you can walk outside capture your dog go, out, go to the park capture some scenes go to the beach you have a bottle of water gonna record some videos, put something nice together in post, color grade it well, add some sound design, post it online, there you go. You have a cinematic piece of content. Now, it's not going to be perfect, it's never going to be perfect right off the bat unless you're extremely talented, extremely lucky, or whatever but it's not going to be perfect, it's a learning curve. You're gonna learn over time, but the more you do something is the more you'll grasp it and have a better understanding of what it is that you're doing. So don't sit around, go out there and actually do it. Be practical, capture stuff, edit stuff, post stuff, watch the progress and don't judge yourself too hard. Not because that guy is at a level 10 and you, you're maybe at a level three, doesn't mean you can't work your way up to a level 10. Level 10 didn't come overnight. You have to walk up the steps so you can reach your level 10 guys. I'm sure he didn't jump the fence and end up in level 10. He worked his off and get there. So you have to get out there, make content. Everything is content. You're frying an egg, capture that. Pouring milk into a cup, capture that. Learn how to use light to your advantage. Learn how to manipulate the lights that you have and learn how to manipulate your space. Learn how your camera works. Learn how sound works. And you don't need the most expensive camera like I mentioned earlier. You can use your phone and build a community get some advice from other creatives and go out there and make content it's not as technical as it seems everything will work out over time you just need to get out there put on your cinematic shoes put on your filmmaking hat and start making some content i'm shavon beckford and if you guys found some entertainment value in this video Feel free to hit the subscribe button so I can grow as a creative and hit the like button so the algorithm can like me. If you want to see more videos like these, stay tuned. I want to make more videos talking about cinematic videos and filmmaking on a whole. I'm gonna give photography a pause for a while. Siobhan Beckford, stay tuned, signing out. Mercy. My heart is filled with love. My heart is